After a tough week, what a great result. Hello everybody and welcome back to Very Biased Opinions. It is time for another Oxford United review, the final one before Christmas. And today, the U's took on table-topping Wickham Wanderers in a derby... Not Derby. After a week that have seen Oxford lose to MK Dons and to Manchester City, although the Manchester City result was probably expected, Oxford played really, really well in that game. United made four changes for this game this afternoon. Probably most surprising of all was Matt Taylor came out of the side after looking after obviously scoring a great goal against City. He was replaced by Jamie Mackey. I actually wasn't too bothered about that. I think Jamie Mackey offers so much for Oxford, works hard, is a constant nuisance. Another bit of good news is James Henry came back into the side. He's been injured recently. He makes a massive difference. And John Lucinio, not surprisingly, came back into the back four. And also, not surprisingly, Chris Cadden came back into right back. Maybe one of his last games for the club. Players that missed out are Dan Adji, Sam Long, Elliot Moore, and as I said before, Taylor. Great to see Shandon Baptiste keep his place in the side he was one of the standout players against City well if you think Oxford's form has been good Wickham have been amazing this season their form has been imperious they've lost one game all season a stark turnaround to where they were last season when Gareth Ainsworth just about kept them up and even really lost his job nearly at some point last season where they went on a terrible run this season it's been completely different as I said lost one game all season they've won five out of the last six such a strong squad he's uh, assembled. They don't just beat you with like one way. You'd think with Akinfender in the team, they're just a long ball side. So not the case. Very, very good side. And make no mistake, this will be a massive test for Oxford. Well, it looks like the football gods are smiling on OUFC once again. As this game ended up, Oxford United won, Wickham Wanderers nil. Yes, that is right. Oxford beat tabletop in Wickham this afternoon. It was a really good display, very good performance. Oxford probably should have won by more, but let's not kid ourselves. This game hinged around about the 20 to 25 minute mark. After 23 minutes, James Henry returning to the side gave Oxford a 1-0 lead. A shot came in from Brannigan, was saved by Olsop. Then Henry had a shot again, saved by Olsop. And finally, it fell to Henry again and he smashed it past Olsop. What does it take to beat this keeper? What does it take to beat this defence? I mean, that's the first goal they've conceded in nearly 10 hours of football. What a stubborn side they are. But Oxford took the lead. Great stuff from James Henry. Probably the definitive moment in the game happened on 25 minutes. Akin Fenwa, who had already been booked, got involved in an altercation with Massinho and a few other Oxford players and received a second yellow card. Looked like a bit of a push. They said it was for an argument with the referee. Bloody brave referee arguing with Akin Fenwa. It meant to him getting a second yellow and an early red card for Wickham, which completely screwed up any game plan they had. Akin Fenwa never really seems to do that well against Oxford. Wickham fans will obviously say this was harsh. Oxford fans, you just say, why did he put himself in that situation? Carl Robinson has said all season he wants his Oxford side to be nasty and not known as a nice side to play against. And that certainly came into play. There's probably a few players that certainly helped with that red card. Jamie Mackey, I'm looking at you. This then became a game where Oxford were in the ascendancy and it was just a matter of whether they could get that second goal. They were being denied by a stubborn Wickham defence and some brilliant saves by Olsop. There was one he made from Massinho at the end of the first half that kept it to 1-0. And while it was still 1-0, Wickham would believe they could get something out of this game. Into the second half and frustratingly, that second goal just never came for Oxford. And the longer it went on, the more and more Wickham started to show a bit of belief and the more and more Archer was tested. He made a couple of good saves. I think Wickham... Wickham bringing on Smith, he added a different dimension with like long throw-ins and they certainly tried everything they could to get back into it. Oxford again had tons and tons of chances and just couldn't convert. Taylor had a goal disallowed for offside late on. But they hung on to win by a goal to nil. One goal was all they needed. And three valuable points for the Yellows. Finally, Wickham are vanquished and Oxford United go back up into the playoffs. Enjoy it, Oxford fans. The final game before Christmas. You can all have a very merry Christmas now. Well done to Carl Robinson and the boys. We move on to Lincoln in the next match. A game again I am going to. Let's hope we can repeat the 6-0 that we had in the last game. 
So that'll do it for another review. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old like and think about subscribing to the channel. We're desperately trying to get a thousand subscribers before Christmas Day rolls around. I think we only need about 20 more. So please subscribe to the channel. It will help us out so much. And hit that notify bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. A great win for Oxford United. And I will be back very soon with another review. And remember, if you're looking for detailed football analysis, you're probably in the wrong place.